so this is a, a 1536 Froschauer Bible. We think it's probably the most significant artifact in our collection because of all the stories associated with it. So it was printed in Zurich by Christopher Froschauer, who was an early printer for the Swiss Reformation. It's a slightly different arrangement than Martin Luther's Bible. Apparently it was more readable for the Swiss German folks. At least in the Bern area, it became illegal for Anabaptists to own this Bible. And we've heard stories where Anabaptists would hide it in their barns and their hay mows because they, they prized it and cherished it. So this Bible came out of the, uh, the Schnabli, the Anabaptist Schnabli family of near Zurich. And this family moved in the, into the Alsace, uh, which is now part of France, and then into the Palatinate on, on both sides of the, the Rhine River in the southern part of Germany, an area we know as the Kreichgau and the Palatinate. Mennonites settled there after the Thirty Years' War, and the Schnabli's were just one of those many families that settled there. And this town, this village of Ebersheim, was right along the Rhine River, and that eventually became a, a, a stopping point for Anabaptists, for Mennonites on their way to Pennsylvania. And then on the next page, we have a very important, a very early Fraktor book plate, again, which has um, some interesting documentation that helps us to place the Bible at this time. So this is a 1708 book plate, and it says, This Bible belongs to Matthias Schnabli, again, Alf dem Ebersheimer Hof, at the Ebersheimer Hof. And I've been told by curators both from Europe and here in America, people who have looked into Fraktur, this is one of the earliest Mennonite Fraktur pieces that we've found yet that is known. Page. So these two pages together are pretty impressive, I think. The 1536 title page and the 1708 book plate. The Bible transferred from the Schnabli family, this family in the Palatinate, to their daughter, their one daughter and son-in-law, um, John George Bachman and his wife Mar Maria Schnabli. We know that they had immigrated by 1727 and settled at what we now know as Coopersburg in Lehigh County. And during the time of the American Revolution in the summer and fall of 1778, there was an incident in the Mennonite community there at Salkin. Their households were confiscated and sold on sheriff auction by the county sheriff. Um, this Bible may be one of the pieces that was confiscated. There was a petition after this imprisonment happened. Um, two of the wives of these men, including this Esther Bachman, Esther Eberholzer Bachman, and her friend and sister in faith, Eve Yoder, they sent a, in a petition to the Pennsylvania Assembly in the fall of 1778 asking for relief, asking for their, this case to be reviewed. They said that even everything was taken, even the beds, the stoves, and the Bibles were taken. And our understanding is, we're not quite sure how all this happened, but that some of these pieces were returned then to these Mennonite families, or they were able to buy them back eventually.